Welcome to today's iceberg video. Today we are going to be, in st first of all, cleaning the C300, then putting on the winter wheels, and lastly installing uh, his new grill. So unfortunately, there was a little mishap. We got Joe here, say hey. And we got Chris over here. So unfortunately, someone decided to be that guy and uh, kick in the front grill. It's just like one of those. And so we, we went ahead and uh, picked up this butte. Right here we got a, a illuminated star Pan American grill for the W204 yep. C300. So I think you made the right call buying that one. It was between this and the C63 one, but yeah. I think this one looks a lot better. This one isn't trying to be overtly C63. Today, uh, Krista woke up and uh, realized that there was a flat tire, so that's why we got this donut on, and uh, that's why we're gonna throw on the winter tires. These are for my E-Class, but uh, you know, we'll see how they look on this here C, and uh, also that way he doesn't have to drive around on these roads with a uh, donut. So, I'm gonna hand off the camera to Joseph. Leave in the comments the section below. Do you think uh, you think it'll look good? Do you think it'll complement uh, Charlotte, or do you think it'll just look like a sore thumb? Bracket is off. First step, we got that off. We got this bracket off that was already broken. And now we soldier on. It's time to install it. Now we gotta take that out. Yep. So I just did that finger tight. Where, where are we wiring it, to, wiring it to? The fuse box, which is over there. Where will, it, will you run the wire? Like across the side. I'm gonna run it through here, over here, right to there. Let me tell you guys something. Don't be scared to work on your own cars because it's really not that, that hard. Cost, like, All right. What do you think? Two, three grand to do that at the dealership? It would have probably cost like two, three hundred. Just because of labor, but uh, so with the part, with the part and that, that, it'd probably been over a grand, yeah. I mean, look, done. 800 to do a thousand. Now, all we gotta do, hold this. All right, Should so we, we uh, we yeah. noticed that there was a slight gap here, and there wasn't a gap on the other side, it was a little close. And so, what, what we're doing is we're just so loosening we're the loosening the bracket so we can just shimmy it and center it. So, so just loosen it enough, yeah. yeah, it's loosened, but don't just don't just try to slide it over. I would, um, that's exactly what we have to do. Oh, Boom. it worked. <laughs> now we just need much. to center it. Oh, too much. All right, we just need to align this middle part. There we go. Oh, you're good, you're good, 100%. Oh. Let that's me see, let me check it real quick. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, so right now, we, we want to finish this. We didn't expect it to be this easy, honestly. So what we're going to do is the one thing we have left is we have a cable that we need to run for the illuminated star. And we just need to run to Advance Auto, grab this little piece to put into the uh, fuse box so we can have this powered, and that's it. So right now, uh, we're going to jump in the E-Class and head to Advance Auto. So we'll see you there. AOJ, play this.
uh, we went ahead and got covered our bases. We got a, a small six volt and a uh, larger 10 volt, 12 volt, excuse me. So we'll see whatever works and we'll return the other one. So let's head back to the house and uh, get to working. It's food time, baby. Let's go. Y'all ready to get back to work? Yeah. That's right. Let's do it. All right, so right now we got our, our wire run. It's a little, you know, it's not yet cleaned up completely, but if you come over here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna strip back this wire, and we decided we could take a little bit different route with this, and uh, we found out that this 10 red fuse right here uh, is gonna be the perfect candidate to just tap it straight to that. So that's our plan. So right now, I'm just gonna get us some more uh, some more wire exposed and we'll uh, wire it up. So let's check it out. Clean engine bay. Boy. <laughs> Call him out, Joe. Completely in my recording. Check it out. No. No, nothing. All right, so we just uh, wired up the uh, the Johnny and we zip tied it up. Got it. Got the wires all tucked up. Now we just have to throw this piece back in, connect the air intake, and she's done. We'll give her a wash after that. And I'm thinking Chris is going to tell me behind the camera. We're thinking of putting LEDs in this just in the meantime while we get the upgraded headlights. What do you think? That's a maybe. That's. I mean, I'd be down. Yeah. First and foremost, though, we're gonna. Have Clip all the tails of the uh, zip ties. So now it's time to, uh, we're all buttoned up. First time it'll be closed. There she is. Whoa. I like that. So I'm going to this. LED bulbs at least, and uh, hopefully upgrading to the full LEDs. But uh, there's uh, one one more test done. We got the wheels on, we got the grill on, we got the illuminated star all, all wired up, and now it's time to drive it. I guess. Let's. Uh, no tires. Let's see how they go. I think it, it looks pretty, it looks pretty solid. 